Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Today's a special little vlog. I am backstage, well, outside, but I wanted to give a little bit of behind the scenes. Theater is a very special thing in my life and I wanted to just share that part and just do a little bit of snippets backstage and show you just some highlights. So I hope you enjoy. I first wanted to like explain my attire. I am Tinkerbell, we're doing Shrek and I'm a fairy tale character and I'm playing Tinkerbell. Absolutely love it. Just an example, yesterday I had the worst day and I was just like, leave it at the door, leave it at the door. And I had the best performance ever and I felt just, I couldn't stop smiling after. Before I started, I was in tears just from the day that I had. And afterwards, I just completely just it turned around and I'm just so grateful to be back on stage for live theater again. Just to be amongst other people and singing with other people. So grateful that theater has come back and that we're able to do this. And I'm so grateful for all the new friends that I've met. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure I do just a little vlog and tell what I've been doing and amidst the moving and all of the chaos in my life. And I do four shows a weekend and there's three weekends. So the weekends are busy with performing, but I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. But thank you, thank you for watching and enjoy. Tinkerbell's gotta go fly away. other character and I have no stress or worries when I'm on stage. I'm just fully in the moment and it just feels so good. I'm just grateful that I have that platform and opportunity and ability to be able to do that. And I have to remember to stay in recovery and stay strong so that I can keep doing these things. And I have to remind myself every single day, just because lately it's it's been really hard, um, to be honest, just with moving and tech week and all the shows and the crazy, you know, it's hard to get yourself to eat enough. And my sleep schedule is all messed up and I have to remember to take my medications to stay regulated, all those things. It just makes it harder when you're doing so much and it's it's so different because for so long i mean i haven't done theater in a year or no one has it's with all the shutdowns and so from doing nothing to all of a sudden life coming back and um, it's an adjustment and it's hard to keep up eating you know it's easy to restrict it's easy to just go 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 and get into that pattern again but i have to keep fighting
Oh, it's the last show. It's so surreal. I didn't think it was gonna hit me like this. We've had 13 shows. The first show is always so exciting and then you're like, oh, you get to do it again and again. If you mess up, you can do it again. But it's weird just the concept of, this is the last show. This is the last time we're gonna do this together. If you mess up or if you do something, it's like, that's it. But you can't think of it like that. I feel like I'm just trying to soak it all up. Like I'm just treasuring and doing just everything just the strongest I can so I have no regrets. You know, I just wanna feel good about my performance and it, gosh, it's just so, it's so hard. It's so hard, I loved. I love this experience and I'm really gonna miss this show and I never thought that I would <laughs> connect so deeply with this musical, Shrek. I mean, it's just so beautiful and the people made it that way and you know, the artistic team and all of that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna let myself be sad. Like, it's just sad. But that's how theater goes, you know? You you spend months on a show and then it's over, but you have those memories and those relationships and that experience and the, the memories, I think, are just such gifts. I am so grateful for the relationships that I've made and the experiences and just that pure joy, the freedom of performing again and just feeling so happy. So cool. All right, I'm going back in. Okay, it's a bit rainy outside. I just wanted to do a little closing just to have final thoughts. This is the last show. I didn't think I was gonna get emotional. I think it's just because I've learned to numb out and condition myself to just kind of contain everything, but I found myself just getting emotional just with all the speeches and I think it's just because this time around was just so special with, you know, the year of shutdown with COVID and everything and it is just like really extra special. So I know I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to just because I know I just felt silly like recording. I didn't want to record people without their permission and everything and I didn't want to you know, upset anyone. I got my uh, nitro brew. But I'm just trying to enjoy every moment. This is my, t I think I got my outfit, but this is my Tinkerbell, and my wings. I'm ready for the show to be done. It's It's been exhausting and, you know, I think when you're mentally drained and physically drained, uh, little things start to fatigue you more, like comments or just little things kind of get under your skin. And I found myself experiencing that, but you know, I think the gift of this experience was so much greater than any of the tired or fatigue that I experienced. This was a special cast and a special experience just for me, just to be back in theater, being in a healthy uh, recovery mind is such a gift. When I'm on stage, it just, you know, my troubles go away for a second and it's so magical. And escaping your regular life is so needed for mental health, but I'm really gonna miss this cast. I wish I would have gotten more like backstage footage, but I just showed a little, a little bit and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I did my best to kind of capture some memories, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it all in my heart. I know that sounds cheesy. I'm gonna cry. I love being Tinkerbell. This is just so magical. I feel like I have fairy dust. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek into, you know, what I love to do. And this theater acting brings me life. I love you guys. Thanks for watching.